There are 27 million people with jobs in Britain, and they're protected by a whole mountain of health and safety legislation. This is the story of David Mays, who died at work because even the most basic safety rules were broken. It's something that should never have been allowed to have happened. If, the, if them men had have accepted their responsibility who was in charge, they could have seen how dangerous it was. David's job was general maintenance man at this bakery in Leicester, owned by Harvest Time Limited and Fresher Bakeries, producing bread for major supermarkets. They were looking for temporary workers at a bakery, so he went, he got a job, and he enjoyed it. He, did, he told his dad that he thoroughly enjoyed working at a bakery. In May 1998, there was a problem with this vast 75-foot-long bread oven. Somewhere inside, a grid had fallen off. The company was worried it might get caught up in the machinery and damage the oven. They considered getting a specialist in to dismantle the oven, but in the end, decided to do the job themselves. They asked David if they'd accompany the, uh, the engineer because David was an outdoor man and he had done potholing. Consequently, he wasn't claustrophobic. So you can see why that he was asked if he'd go in. The oven had been baking bread all night, so it had to be switched off and then cooled down. The oven wasn't turned off till nine. And my lad went in at 11, just after yeah. 11. A couple of hours, two and a half hours at the most mm. cooling down, it wasn't nowhere near sufficient. It should have been closed down for getting on for 10, 10, 12 hours. Instead of waiting for the oven to cool down properly, large fans were set up to blast cold air through it. My lad trusted the engineer and he trusted the chief engineer. Yes. They told him to go in the oven and he went in. David, along with the maintenance engineer, Ian Erickson, crawled into the oven carrying walkie-talkies. They never got out alive. The health and safety executive was notified that there had been a double fatality at Fresher Bakeries in Leicester on Saturday the 16th of May 1998. I've investigated many fatal accidents in my time, but I have never investigated an accident quite as horrific and tragic as this one. They were trying to raise him on the walkie-talkies and then Ericsson came onto the phone, get us out. And that was the last they heard of him. Everything went dead. There were three temperature dials along the side of the ovens to which anybody could look. And indeed, had they looked, they would have realised that the temperatures within the oven was over 100 degrees centigrade. Water boils at 100 degrees centigrade. They was going into this bottom chamber and they was going to ride the conveyor along. Absolutely horrific. They had to keep moving with the moving conveyor and it only moved in one direction. There was no way out. They had to carry on right through the oven on the, um, until they got to the other end. Of course, by then, I mean, they were completely burnt to death. And at the other end, the clearance was only eight inches. The men would never have got through such a narrow gap. I think there were frantic attempts made by a lot of people on the shop floor to try and crowbar the plate at the exit end to try and free Ian Erickson. And then I think there were further attempts made to remove some of the side panels to try and locate David May's body. But I just likes to get somebody somewhere get be held really responsible for this and I mean responsible not just money David as a son he was a good son so. he was a good son um, if his father or I needed anything he was there he used to come take his dad out for a pint that sort of thing he always used to come up and say come on pop we're going for a pint yeah I, I, I miss that I miss it. Yeah. David's parents were determined to attend the trial, no matter how painful it would be to hear the evidence. 
feel as if we owe it to David. I don't want to miss anything that I think that will let them get off. So, three years after David died, the case came to court. In June 2001, the cause of the accident was finally established. It is quite often very difficult to actually prove a link of evidence between directors and senior managers within companies to the accident or event. However, in this case, there was such negligence that the health and safety executive decided that there should be charges laid against them because this accident was totally preventable. Harvest Time Limited and Fresher Bakeries were fined £600,000 and Managing Director John Bridson was fined £20,000. Production Director Brian Jones and Chief Engineer Dennis Masters were fined a total of £3,000. Since the accident, the bakeries installed new safety equipment and overhauled their safety training. The defendants apologised to the families in court. It took the bakery three years to publicly apologise. I'm afraid after three years, it sounded a bit... Hollow. Hollow. <laughs> but it's over now. It's over. That's it, we can put him to rest. Thank you.